All right, so welcome to this week's video. Uh, I've been asked a couple of times to do videos about more speed painting. So since I have a commission right now on my table, let's look into how I edge highlight stuff when I'm doing commissions. So let's dive right in. All right, so first thing, when you edge highlight and you need to go fast, there's a couple of rules that you need to follow. One of these rules is use thick paint. So very simply, thicker paint allows you for more control over what uh, you're painting. The paint is not going to run, it's going to go right where you need it to go. Then, second rule is use a brush that you're comfortable with. And be aware that this brush might not be in a good shape uh, when you're done. My third rule here is ex actually what I'm doing right now on the video. Go for quick wins. There are elements of the miniature that absolutely need to pop. In the case of a Space Marine, the face of the Space Marine is one of the most important features that you can paint on that model, right? So the one place where you're not cutting corner is the helmet of the Space Marine. So that's what most people are going to look at. So the helmet need to pretty much be complete. Like, can not do all the lines there I like in this case I didn't do the line under the eyes but I would normally do them now this is a tabletop level quality uh, commission so I didn't do the lines under the eyes but except for that absolutely all the lines on the helmet done now at this very moment in the video uh, pretty much all the lines on the helmets are done and I'm starting to move down on uh, on the model. There's one important thing and this is my third rule. Do not do all the lines. Not all the lines on the model absolutely done and not all the lines that you're doing done from beginning to end. But if you saw the color that I did just a moment ago, I didn't do the full color. I did a line in the front of the color because I thought that was important. And on that small shoulder pad there, I didn't do all the line, I did the angle. That's it. Same thing for the elbow there. Now, you do need your brush as clean as possible. And you see right there, I did a mistake. This is tabletop. You're not doing display models. You're putting models on a table. And in this case, Space Marines, well, truth is, they look shitty when you dry brush them, right? So you want to highlight them with edge highlights. But if you do small mistakes like that, either do not care. Now, in this case, I decided to try to erase it. It didn't work. Guess what? I lost about 30 seconds on it. So this is going to be a 30 second longer video because I tried to erase it. But it is okay and perfectly fine to have slight stake there. Because once on the table, once you have a whole bunch of models right beside that model, it is not going to show. Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to look at that. But the fact that you've done edge highlight is going to bring a lot of catchiness to you. So I'm moving down the model. And on this one, because this is actually my very last commission, I don't intend on doing uh, armies anymore. In this one, uh, I decided to go a little bit uh, farther than what I would normally have done. So I did more lines than what I... Uh, would normally do so instead of taking like five minutes to do the model the whole model is taking like 10 minutes which is still pretty fast when you so i'm going down and i'm selecting some line what you're seeing there and what i'm doing there is the most important thing i'm picking up some very special lines like i'm not doing the full lines i'm doing if it's a circle maybe i'm doing just the part middle right Thick paint is the key here because you can be a little bit less careful in basically how you're handling that paint. So I'm going to let the video go for uh, for a little while and I'm going to start talking and bugging you again in a couple of minutes. Also, as you can see right now, on the video, I'm actually not even trying to go fast. Like, I am trying to go decently fast, but I'm not going out of my way to 
fast and job. I'm pretty much. Now, another thing that you do have to keep in mind when you is use the side of your brush as much as possible. Sometimes it's not possible because you've got shitty angles, but as much as possible, use the side of your brush and only highlight the stuff that seems to stick out a lot. So, helmet, uh, elbows, knees, uh, the tip of the feet, a little bit of the shoulder pads, that's it. Don't go any further than So, as I'm moving to the back of the model, often the back of models are a little bit uh, maybe neglected or they get too, too many highlights, right? The light comes from the front. You don't need to highlight the back of the model like crazy. Now, the reality is people see their models from the back more than they see them from the front when they're playing with them. But for this reason, you kind of still want to have a model uh, painted uh, on the back with a little bit of highlights, right? So as I'm moving back there, you're going to see that I'm going to become even more selective the lines that I am painting. I'm just going to do some very, very small catch light on the various parts. This is perfectly fine. Now, another rule is, you see right there, I did a boob on a shoulder pad. Not going to fix this. This is a tabletop level mini, and the, whole, the mini as a whole is a lot more better than what if uh what it would have been if i had dry brushed it so i'm going to leave this as is i'm not going to fix it if you want to fix it go for it but in this case here i'm aiming for speed and i want it to like pop and flash so i can live with a couple of small boo-boos like this one now on the back i'm going very quickly doing just most permanent catch highlights and not all of them, very much just small lines. The point here is fast and effective. If you're doing everything, those highlights are not going to pop anymore. If, if the whole model, if all the lines are super hard highlights, the model is not popping anymore. The model looks like it's a, a coloring book, basically, right? So just most catchy thing. And from time to time, you're going to have a fat line in there. Now. Try to avoid those fat lines, but if you have one, live with it. This is a tabletop model. Just move along. The next model is going to be better, and that's perfectly fine.
Now I'm moving to the backpack. Uh, backpack does not need that much attention. My line here was a little bit too thick, but it's going to be a uh, perfect line like that. I'm going to do a line that's coming down on the side of it, and I'm not going to highlight the whole thing. Just the most, basically the strongest line on the model is what I'm going for. Nothing else. And you see me, I'm using my uh, fingernail there. That's because I'm using thick paint and I want to remove most of the paint from the brush to avoid doing thick lines. This is one of the tricks that you can do uh, to get your lines uh, thinner, basically. Now on the backpack, there still need to be some highlights on the front, but I'm not going for the lines that are super hard to highlight. I'm going for the lines that are super easy to highlight, but that are going to make the model pop. And we are actually nearing the end of that uh, model. And this is how it looks like right now. And guess what? It looks pretty good. It is above most tabletop models that you're going to see on a board. It was not long to paint and it looks kick-ass. Now this is the model beside a model that has not received those edge highlights. So 10 minutes edge highlight job and the model is already better. So basically... There's no reason to not edge highlight your stuff. Like, if you're doing something that's very organic, maybe the quick way is to go dry brush, but here's something, some, if you're going for like Space Marines and model like this, use thick paint, use a brush that you like, remove the excess of paint on your fingernails, and select the line that you want to highlight. And that is the secret with 10 minutes edge highlight video. Thank you guys, I'll see you next time.